Welcome to this Copernicus Marine Service Ocean Color Black Sea, Black sea Training. In this uh, Python notebook we will show how to visualize maps and time series of chlorophyll from the CMEMS data. In particular we, uh, we will, will show two different examples. One is to make chlorophyll data using near real time daily interpolated chlorophyll field. On the second example we will show how to make the, a, map, a map of two locations in the basin of the reprocessed chlorophyll daily, daily time series and the monthly average. The first portion of this uh, um, Python notebook provides you details uh, with, uh, with all the data set that we are using, in particular the ocean color uh, for the Black Sea, the chlorophyll level 4 in real time, when they have all the details uh, and the information on how to get the data from the portal, the PUM and the QUID, and the parameters we use for the download. In the second example here is we're going to use the, is the, is the Ocean Color Black Sea Chlorophyll Level 3 reprocessed observations the whole time series. And again, here you have summary of the information, the uh, link to the marine portal, the PUM, the QUID, and uh, the details of the locations where the two dime series are extracted. The data can be downloaded with the Moto client, client and, but in this case you find the data available to you already on the notebook. So here there is information should you need to use the Moto client to download your da the data or your machine. First exercise is to uh, will will be the use of the of to plot of the maps for the Black Sea. We starting with uh, with the uh, with start with Python with running Python, and we're gonna run everything by pushing on the play on the play. We have the appropriate Python. We're gonna upload the required modules. Here, we're gonna do now the import of the modules, the possible warnings. And we continue to import the needed modules, the path, all the, all the setup for the example to work. Now we are accessing the data that are saved here on the output in the, in the, in the, out, in the, in the data folder of the, of, the, of the notebook. And we, after opening the data, we can see that we can, we can check some information of the of data. So this is a summary of all the of all the uh, the ancillary information that is included in etcdf and then we can also get further information on the what are the variables we downloaded the coordinates that we that we're using and we start in then configuring the data to get prepared to for the variables we want to plot so here we start to select our selection we provide some information about the plot configuration and here we have the uh, the map for the for the date that we chose, which is the fifth of May of 2020, a couple of weeks ago. Um, here you have uh, we we left some comments of other options that work. You can try and do. You can change, for instance, the area that you're plotting, or you change the minimum maximum range. I'm going to show you briefly how to change the area. Here are some. Here there is this portion that if we comment these four lines, we comment four lines, we change to a fork to some values that we left before for the Danubius area. So we change the we again we run this portion, these two portions of the code. Not true because I made an error in commenting. Apologies. And this one is an example of how to focus your change your locations in the code. Okay, so we can move to the second plot now, where we're gonna we we're gonna do the plot of time series for two uh, for two locations in the in the in the Black Sea. One, the first location is located close to the shelf. The second is located in the middle of the basin. So, 
here we go we, we do as we did before we upload the a python we upload the different uh, the, all the modules uh, as we did before uh, above even though it would not be needed but we do it anyway to make sure that the example is, full, is fully contained we import the variables we select the regions and the path now we actually read the data we get some information about the data here that we uh, that, that, that what is was contained in the attributes and the variable in NCDF. The same for the second file. We continue and provide provide some configurations. We choose the point of interest within the, the small boxes that we have. We do some extraction of the select of the of the data points. And we do the selection for a second point, and in this moment we all, we use the uh, XRA uh, dataset as a, as a, as a as an approach in Python to extract the data. Here we then have to extract the data, select the data between from the time series, so for for the chlorophyll, and so we have, we make these two XRAs, and we convert the datasets into a pandas data frame as it will provide us a lot of flexibility for further analysis so for instance we can use just by selecting some some lines we can see what the, what the values are whether are in for, for instance there are there are a series of not a numbers because this is data level 3 so it's the uh, could be was cloudy in a given date in portion of the, in that portion in that location in the in, in the in, in the basin here we can we, using describe we can get summary statistics for the for the two locations and we see that for instance there is a slight different in, uh, coverage but but most importantly there is there are different values in the mean or standard deviation of the of the of the two data points. We then use the if we use Panda we can simply resample with, with one command to com com compute the monthly means. And again, here the, the, the ranges of the, clo the close to the shelf and the offshore locations are different for the local of mean value, as we expect. And we now, for instance, save the data in CSV, and we prepare ourselves for the date, for the for the plot. This is the first plot that we did with, we did with all the individual data points for the whole time series from 1997-2019. We also have a few options to change the plot. For instance, we can overplot the monthly means. And to overplot the, mon the monthly means, we need it's enough to comment these three lines of comments by putting the tag, the hash, in front of it. We run this portion of the code. And we have now both time series. The monthly time, the timely, timely time means overplot on the daily observations for both the the offshore location that shows a lower, a lower values uh, in the lower oscillations, and the location close to the shelf that shows a higher location. Last possibility, last uh, uh, possibility we have to vary is to change the, the the time range just to show a few more options. And so, for instance, I just left uh, to three and a half years to see a bit better what we're looking at. And again, if we run, if we run this portion of the example, we see here better overplot how the monthly mean uh, and is diff is is a good summary of what happens on the daily observation and how the, the chlorophyll value close to the shelf is higher in logarithmic scale is probably it's double if not three times the values in the in the offshore. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.